I'm here to sh today to talk to you about the new TF series console. You're at the NAMM show 2016. And uh, we have version 2 software for this console now that um, came out last year. But the uh, version 2 software adds tons more features that uh, people have been asking for. And of course, we've been very successful with uh, the presets that are inside the console to completely set up a channel strip for you. Um, we've added a lot more uh, presets now. We've got some for spoken word. We've got a, a ton more for percussive instruments like congas and djembes, things that uh, we know all of our customers will be happy to quickly get set up on their console. The other things that are allowed to happen on with version 2 the uh, original console, when it came out, had two full featured effect engines up here. But the other, the other engines on these stereo outs weren't as full featured. Now they're exactly the same. So you can have more reverbs, those nice delays or reverbs that you really enjoy in our consoles. You can have multiples up here. That's the one thing that have changed in version two. Another thing was to bring the graphic EQs down under the faders. All we gotta do to do that is we go to an output, we select its graphic, and put them on faders, and now we have that fader bank is here. And we can turn them off and on and flatten our channels back out. That's how easy it is to use the graphics now. You used to have to scroll through on the screen. It's much faster this way. We also added support for Dante interface card in the back of the console that will allow you to move all your inputs and outputs into stage boxes that are on stage. This is our TIO series of uh, stage boxes. And this is a 16 input, eight output device. And you'll notice it has a quick config switch on it. This is really nice for people who don't want to get out of computer just to route their audio. If you're unit number one and you're in quick config, you know one through 16 are input one through 16 on your console. All your outputs come across as well. With the quick config feature, you should be able to just run one ethernet cable between everything, turn it on, and within seconds it's configured for itself. Excellent, where can people go for more info? If you want to know more about these consoles and the interfaces, please go to YamahaProAudio.com.